Yo, what is up YouTube, it's me Dark back with another video. Today, in today's video, I'm going to give you 5 tips for Dauntless. What is Dauntless? Well, Dauntless is a new Monster Hunter game set to go into open beta in the upcoming weeks, months, I don't know, maybe years. We don't really know when it's coming out right now, but we do know this is in closed beta and you can get it from the website or from streamers. But yeah, this is a video on how to get the game or anything like that. So yeah, let's get right in to the tip. With tip number one being loot as much as you can. Because that's pretty damn obvious. I mean, everything in the island, all the flowers could save your life during a hunt. Indirectly, that is. I mean, take these flowers and you go make some healing potions and boom, life is saved. But seriously, loot. And you get good stuff for hunts. So yeah. And you know, even if you do get beaten by the behemoths, you still get your harvested items at the flowers. So, yeah. You gotta get all them grace flowers for them healing potions and them grip shrooms for them revive stems. You, you, you get me, right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Loot up. The next tip is observe the behemoths before going all out on it. See, the behemoths have a particular pattern to them. And mastering this will make killing the behemoths much easier and you won't take as much damage. If you can't master its pattern like perfectly, because like they do have like behavior changes at some points, then try and see what it does before doing the move. If that makes any sense. For example, when doing when going against the Skarn, whenever it does like a, any of its charge moves, it'll make like a vibrate sound. Now that I think of it. Now that I think about it, uh, the Skarn actually does that vibrate, vibrating sound whenever it does one of its moves. Yeah, it does. So, yeah, that, that, that's, that's pretty good to know. Uh, and also when the cool shot is about to drop its spikes everywhere, it just, like puts its foot down and like stands its ground and then just all the spikes starts coming out. So that's good to remember and like the scra the scrave the scrav the scrave the snowy shrike unlike the shrike does a double jump and freezes everything instead of like doing just a single jump and just pouncing so yeah it seems like that that make it easier to take less damage to and easily beat the behemoths because like you know it's move sets so you just dodge everything you know um okay so sad <coughs> sad tip is that research pretty much there's a lot of things in the dauntless world but the game doesn't tell you everything so it's always good to go on like forums dauntless wiki or any other sources to learn stuff about the game or just ask around in the community there that's always helpful as well let's let's take the la lan the lanterns for example when you go to buy them they don't have any descriptions on what like what they do but if you just take a few minutes to go into the Dauntless Wiki and the Lanterns part of the Wiki, it just has a list of every Behemoth Lantern and what ability it gives you, such as the Drass Lantern gives you shield ability, the Nasha gives you healing ability, the Ember Main gives you like a stamina boost, and so on. Like, and like each tier has like, like they're usually the same, like healing, shield, stamina, and something else. But like, they're just upgraded each tier. And like it's always good to know that and there's a lot of more things that like the game doesn't tell you that you just have to find out on your own <laughs> uh, so yeah things like that just make helping game so this next tip is about revive stems and when to actually use them because it annoys me so much when people use it at pointless times you only get one revive stem each hunt so you've got to use them wisely a prime example of them went <laughs> can speak today a prime example of when not to use the revive stem is when you're the only one dead and the behemoths say only like at 17%. I mean, just be patient and you're gonna get revived in a minute. I mean, the amount of times I've seen people use revive stems in that scenario, like I'm just about to go revive them and they just use a revive stem at the most pointless time. And at the end when, like, say I'm dead or I'm fighting and the other guy's dead and there's 100%, Guess what? He can't revive himself because he just wasted his revive stem. In my opinion, Roots arrives when like everyone's dead and you know you can take out the behemoths at 100% or you know at least make it run away. 
or when one person's left and it's 100 percent then you know that's a suitable time to use it but if you know you're gonna get, but if you know like you're gonna get demolished by the behemoths like there's no going back there's not really much point you know i mean if you are like confused if you should use it or not you could just always ask a team in the chat and they'll you know they'll pretty much tell you yes or no i mean that's why i sometimes do if i'm like eh, should i should i should i revive are we gonna do good maybe let's not waste this revive stem you know but anyway before this turns into a dark rants episode let's just get on with the next tip all right last tip for this video is pretty much know your weapon you're using as in like the combos and how to use it effectively I would say use a range of different weapons, but that would make me a hypocrite since I only use the hammer because I just love it. But using a variety of weapons will help you find the weapon that suits you most. I started out using the chain blades, then tried out the hammer and then just loved it and just don't use anything else now. But yeah, learning combos and being a good user of the weapon of choice you use will not only help you, but will help your team in a hunt to make it successful. So yeah. Those are my five tips for Dauntless. As always, if you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe for more. Join Discord, the link is in the description, and expect to see more Dauntless videos in the upcoming future. And I will see you all in the next one. Wah.